All right, well, just about everyone in the Bay Area is using this break between the storms, as we just mentioned, to clean up what the last one left behind and build up defenses against what's coming next. Devin Feely continues our coverage from the Santa Cruz Mountains. Where I'm standing now in Paradise Park this weekend was underwater. Now, thankfully, the floodwaters have receded, and now is the time to dry out and to clean up ahead of the storms that are coming later this week. The San Lorenzo River is swollen and muddy and churning, but it is still a beast in retreat, a shadow of the floodwaters that swept through the Paradise Park community. By the time the, we were ready to go, about an hour later, we had water up to the front of our home. The river spilled its banks Saturday, sending a torrent of muddy water through Kirk Stanglin's garage and out into the street. We found him cleaning up. He says the floodwaters never reached the inside of his house, a small victory in the face of Mother Nature's onslaught. It's just cold, wet, dirty, depressing work, but in our case at least, yeah, it is a first world problem. Others were not quite so lucky. Once it breaches, it fills up the garages first. Homeowner Melissa Allred says the floodwaters toppled shelves and work tables in the garage of her parents' home and rushed into the lowest levels of her own. Our tables, our workshops, everything just went right up and um, tipped over. Everyone in Paradise Park was cleaning up from this impressive show of Mother Nature's power, knowing too that an encore is likely. It's beautiful. It is paradise all year round, and we do have a flood every few years. I know every few years this is what I'm going to have to deal with, and uh, sometimes I get help, and sometimes you just do what you can by yourself. The folks that live in this community say don't judge it by the wet of winter. you got to wait until the summer to truly understand why they came and, more importantly, why they stayed.